Curious to hear your thoughts on uh, the Toronto Raptor fans booing Kevin Durant as he got hurt. So Kevin Durant was hurt, decided to suck yeah, it up, and, it. decided to suck it up and play. Gets hurt, goes to the ground in like the first half, and the Raptor fans start cheering. Like, man, that's rough, yeah. dude. Like, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I mean, obviously, right? Like the. The politically correct thing to say is like, oh, that's terrible. Like, dude got injured or whatever. But like, I was thinking about it from like a fan perspective, and like, I'm pr- I'm like a pretty hardcore fan when it comes to like oh, Brewers, yes, Packers, yes, like, like those guys. And like, I don't necessarily know if it was like more of like cheering literally for him to get hurt, but like, I feel like like just natural gut instinct. Like when he got hurt again, they were like oh shit like now now Durant's hurt like we actually have a chance to like really win this title that we've been like but like dying to win you know what I mean so like obviously I don't condone them like like rooting for an injury or like booing a guy for like potentially having like a serious like if it's like his Achilles or whatever like but I just don't know necessarily if that was their intention I think it was more of like shit, we might actually win the title now. Like, KD's gone for good. We're up through, like, two games, and it's game five. And, like, and, you know and what I mean? And that is why you're, you're about to become a Dr. Cam, because you see the good in people. That's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you see the good in people. Because, like, no, 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 but I do agree with you, though. I, I know what you mean. I'm just joking around. I, I think that, yeah. as a Raptor fan, your team has never won a finals. And, and really? like, all of, they made one trade last year, and all of a sudden, they're there. And you just got so lucky. And Kevin Durant, who beat you by himself in Toronto without Steph Curry, without Cle- without I think without Trey, I don't know, by himself in Toronto, came back and made that a game against them during the regular season. Yeah. And then he just went down. So like I don't think people were genuinely like, oh, we hate Kevin Durant. Um, right. But they, you know, your point is that they were just kind of in the heat of the moment. Like holy shit, like we might win today. Like, like this is it. Like we're gonna we're gonna yeah. win the finals. And it's almost like a pre celebration. But in like if you're Kevin Durant, like you gotta feel like like what the fuck, man? Like I'm sitting here, like like I have a serious injury. It's my contract here. This oh, is huge for him. He's about to get this contract. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it's Kevin Durant. He ain't gonna have a problem finding a place. To He's gonna get a max deal anywhere no. he wants. The Knicks would give him a max deal if he literally lost a leg. The Knicks would still give him a max deal. But that's how much the Knicks. They, like, he amputated like his. Yeah, they'd be like, let's go, let's go, 3D printer, let's go, print him a new knee. <laughs> let's do this, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah, exactly. Titanium, let's do it. No, I feel like I, that's the serious thing. Is like, I don't, I don't know if like, he, I don't know what his injury was, but like. I, I feel like he really could have done something bad to like his Achilles or something because he wasn't holding like his calf. He was holding like he was holding like by his Achilles like region and if you watch him like walk, he's like walking weird. It's not, it doesn't look like he's like he like strained his calf. It looks like he's like not able to like functionally move it correctly. Like I don't know. I feel like it was a thing where they were like kind of holding him out and uh, I think like a lot of like. Achilles injuries like that, you, it starts with like a slight like injury, and it's just inevitable that it's gonna like pop eventually. So like I think it was like one of those things where they're like, we're gonna hold you out till you act, like we actually need you, and you can like come play, but like you're probably just gonna re-injure it. It's just a matter of time, and then like it just happened. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I think that's just definitely cause for concern. Not for the Knicks. They'll still do it. But, 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 yeah. but uh, just for you, you gotta sweat out for like the of next course, three years. Of course, of course, absolutely, uh, absolutely. They'll give them max money and they'll do it I, again. And I'll tell you what. If, if anything, I think what Toronto really did was incentivize Kevin Durant, who we do know is a lot more emotional than he used to let on of a player, yeah. to sign somewhere in the East just to make sure he can stick it to Toronto. Every every single time they go to the playoffs, you know, like I feel like that is gonna happen. I feel like I can see him. I'm not even saying that. Maybe, maybe they're not the Knicks. Although if you're coming to the East, it'll probably be the Knicks. But if you, I, I can see Durant. Like you know what? I'm going to the East and I'm gonna whoop that ass every just, just every every yeah. time. Every time I go there, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna light it up uh, because I know, like I agree with you. Uh, maybe how the fans meant it, but. It's still like a guy got so hurt. You know and you yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is a huge thing for him. He's trying to get paid. He made it very clear, Kevin Durant, that this offseason was about him trying to get paid. And um, <laughs> yeah. hey, and they, that's, 
hurting yourself to a point where, you're, where you know, you, you literally can't play. Like, you tried to come back early. And and I, I shout out to Paulie. He did tell me before the game we were talking about it. Paulie was writing the Showdown article today over at, over at WiseTick.com for the uh, Showdown DraftKings one, you know, one game slate. And he had mentioned to me, he was like, man, I'm pretty sure. I saw Kevin Durant the last, the last game, game, whatever it was, game three or four, whatever. He said, I saw, I, they showed the locker room after the game, and I saw Kevin Durant, and he was, like, limping around. And, like, Paulie was, like, in yeah. complete shock that he was going to play today. He was like, I, I just don't see how this guy's healthy enough to do it. And he was right, because right. it didn't last very long. Uh, yeah, that's why I think it was, like, I think it's just one of those things where he has, like, something with, like, his Achilles injury, and, like, it was just more of, like, a slight thing where he could play, but it's just more of, like, once it's injured, it just eventually has to go. So like it, they were just like, you can play on it, but like it, it could go like game five yeah. or it could go game seven or and, it could go and, in and, the off season when you're practicing. And like, in his defense, like like respect to him, he took the chance for the championship. Yeah. Like he had an obligation to the Warriors, and yeah, of oh, course yeah. he was trying to do something for himself too. He could have came back and been a hero and really made himself look like a legend. But at the end of the day, you know, right. he, he took this the championship. He did it for the organization, uh, who he's committed to. So. Yeah, I think I think he definitely like gained some respect just from like everyone in general, yeah, and like obviously like I'm sure like his teammates now even more want to like win just for yeah. him because he went out there and like now they picked another one up on the road. They're gonna go back to Golden State, so like I mean, who knows? That could be like the big swing in the series, just him going down, and they maybe who knows? They rally. 3-0 and win it for them. Hey, it was like, uh, yeah, absolutely. It was done to them, right? Didn't Cleveland? Uh, you know, yeah, it was done to them. Yeah, exactly. The, the dirty was done to them, so they can do the dirty to their neighbor. There, let's go.